I've been building bike trails as long as I can remember. I had dirt jumps in my backyard at home in Connecticut that I worked on when I was a kid. I was building janky wood ramps. And before that, I started out biking just basically cross country with my parents for literally as long as I can remember. You know, I was that kid that you couldn't recognize when I was little because I just had so much grime on me. <laughs> Being out in the mud puddles and fits me naturally. Trail building to me is almost just as much fun as riding. Being able to go somewhere and stick my head in the dirt and not talk to anybody and kind of be in my happy place. I get a lot of satisfaction out of that, but uh, on the other end of that, I think it's pretty impossible to be a good trail builder if you don't ride. And that's the only way to find out. You're never gonna know unless you ride it. Basically, we roll up in the morning, head up to wherever our machines are in the woods. And that's always one of my favorite times of day when you show up at seven in the morning and um, you know smell of fresh dirt and the early morning sunshine out here in the woods. I would say building trails is a dirty job, you know, covered in grease, covered in diesel, come home, you know, covered in dirt, and basically have to scrape it off in the shower. But I love it, you know what I mean? It's, um, it's, I love being down in the dirt. We've got a pretty established and efficient process now, but it's still not, you know, it's not science, it's not rocket science, let me put it that way. So, you know, sometimes stuff is like, well, you know, that's mountain biking. People like to ride rocks too. If it's really rocky and there's not a lot of dirt, it can take a very long time. It could take you two days to go 50 feet. You might even be going backwards, which is never fun. But on a good day, when we're on the good dirt, the pay dirt, I like to call it, we, uh, we can blast. We're averaging over there about uh, 250 feet a day, which is a pretty good rate. The terrain is a direct correlation to what we end up building. There's a lot of clay around here, which I fondly call hero dirt. It's amazing when you pack it in, the stuff compacts and you ride it and it feels like a dream. But you gotta find it because for the most part, the upper mountain and even a lot down here is, is rocky, rooty, ledgy, kind of, you know, typical Vermont type stuff. Every place has its characteristics, but I think that's what makes this sport so cool, is you can build almost the same trail somewhere, you know, if you planned it the same way, but it's gonna be completely different if you're in a different spot, just because of the natural characteristics. I think Vermont might be one of the most challenging, but beautiful places to build, just because, I mean, you look around at a place like this and there's, you know, it's, it's just gorgeous, you know, I don't have to say it. I think what makes a great trail is one that keeps you on your toes. I kind of try and build my features on a flow trail variable, I call them. So things where you can ride it one way, one time, and ride it completely differently the next time. I think that's one of the most important things is building trails that not only beginners and intermediate people looking for progression are gonna be able to ride it and enjoy it, but also, you know, so rippers and racers and guys can come down and still have fun on it. I've talked to some of the fastest guys that I know from the East Coast that race every weekend and you know they on our blue and green trails they're like yeah this is so fun. So that's what I really shoot for because I mean the main thing that that makes it all worth it for me is the smiles on people's faces. Almost you don't even need to see them you know we'll be walking through the woods and you can hear the hooting and hollering going on and that's kind of you know I'll always pop a grin when I hear that because you know that's what it's all about. My name's Will Conroy, I'm 22 years old and I build mountain bike trails at Killington Resort.